Hi guys and ladies, my last episode was catching and filleting fish. Now I want to cook them. If you know me, you know I need to keep it simple and low carb. So why not fried fish with low carb Mexican rice? Let's see if we can pull this off. I'm going to start first with the Mexican rice. <laughs> So I'm chopping a few tablespoons of parsley. I'm melting three tablespoons of butter so that I can saute these four ounces of chopped frozen onions. I'm supposed to do this until they're tender, but I don't really know what that means. These are nice and soft and golden. Now it's time to add our rice. Ah, ah, ah. You know it can't be rice. Too many carbs. This is one pound of grated cauliflower. That's about half a head. Let's see if it works. This is where a large skillet comes in handy. I've got here some chunky salsa. About six to eight ounces. I don't know. Uh, it's only uh, three years past expiration. Let's see how that works. Then we could imagine if it were fresh. Mmm, smells good. Let's put a lid on this. Lower heat. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of this Himalayan kosher sea salt. How about a good dose of pepper? I'm not sure what this is doing in the recipe, but it says add a quarter teaspoon of Splenda. I'm supposed to cover and simmer this for 10 to 12 minutes. It's been 11 minutes. Let's uh, get it out. resembles Mexican rice. It really looks good. I could have added, I guess, a few peas to it for even more authenticity, but wow, <laughs> just like Mexican rice. Okay, here I'm going to make a little breading for our fish. First, here is a cup of good quality Parmesan. Now for crispiness, I'm going to add uh, one half cup of breadcrumbs. Ah, 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 but these are low carb breadcrumbs. You see, I got them from this company here. They're very expensive, but I gotta have a little crispiness. I've got to add seasonings now. Here's a tablespoon of uh, smoked paprika. Here we have, uh, let's see, uh, two teaspoons of garlic powder. Here we have, uh, mm -hmm two teaspoons of onion powder. Here's a half teaspoon of salt. We could always add more later. Now, I'm gonna pepper it up. I don't know, until it just looks right. Let's just stir this all up. Now let's set our oven to 400. I almost forgot chopped parsley, about three tablespoons or so. Here I've got a variety of fish, but mostly they're bluegill with a little perch and bass in there. I'm going to oil these up and I'm going to mix them. So the plan, the plan is to uh, press these into the Parmesan mixture and then put them on this wire rack. The first one always goes so nicely. This is going to do it. I'm going to put these in the oven for like uh, eight to 10 minutes. We'll try eight because these are very delicate, very small. There we go. They look great already. I didn't cook them yet.
While our fish is roasting in the oven there, you might wonder where Miss Lulu Cheeks is. Well, she wanted to watch her youngest culinary art students at their swim meet, but I can assure you she'll return soon. Also, this time alone gives me a great opportunity to experiment with new recipes. <laughs> it's been eight and a half minutes. Let's see if our Parmesan crusted fish is ready. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ready. If you could only smell what I smell. Mm. 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 My goodness, I just had a taste of our fish and rice. It may not have come out quite as crispy as you'd like, but it was a little. But the taste, oh, I cannot describe with the human mouth how scrumptious this is. Thanks so much for watching. Fish. 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 Fish.